Hey everybody, I'm Dustin Brett from up here in Canada. Thanks for checking out my video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at my top five DOS games and do a little rather relevant to twist to my, my channel in general. We're going to be playing these games inside my website, if you can believe that. So this is going to be, you go to my website and that's where the games are going to occur. And uh, if you like this video, please throw me a like. I'll mention it again at the end for you. And if you want to keep me motivated, you want to just follow what's going on with me, then please throw me a subscribe. So without further ado, let's go check out this, uh, this site I keep talking about. My website here, DustinBrett.com. Uh, if you followed my videos before, you may know that I've turned my website, my personal homepage, into a operating system, essentially. Operating system in quotes, kind of like a Windows 10 clone. The idea being that you sit down at my desk and you're checking out my computer just like you would, like uh, if you were sitting at my computer, you know? So yeah, let's let's take a look. So my my list here, I've got it all written down. Uh, and also one thing I wanted to note and uh, as a thank you for this video is uh, sorry, a thank you for that this app that I have, this ability that my website has, is another app called JS DOS here, and the simplest API to run DOS games in browser. So I'm definitely standing on the shoulders of giants because uh, I don't personally know how to make a DOS simulator in the browser. I'm not 100% sure if the person who made this totally does because I think he's using something called DOSBox, but I'm, I'm, I would be very not surprised if he has a full grasp of all the wor inner workings as well. Uh, anyways, he's a cool guy and it's a, it's a great app and that's what I'm utilizing in my little fake windows. If you see here under my documents folder, I actually have a, a few DOS bundles and he uses a special format here called JS DOS, which is just a zip file that's got a few special instructions. For a few of our uh, examples here, we're going to use the JS DOS files, but in some cases, we're going to actually go to a website in my browser inside my OS, download new DOS games, put them on, and run those new DOS games on my website fully. And let's start with that. The first one that we have is called uh, Wolfenstein 3D. Um, it's one that I kind of grew up with a little bit, and it's, it's always been kind of fun for me. Uh, at the same time, I didn't play it a lot. I actually don't have it on my website. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a website here called dosgames.com. And I'll give a shout out to them. They got these free DOS games. And uh, the twist here that makes these free and makes it, me feel a little more comfortable talking about them is that they're all called shareware, which is essentially it's like try it out. Everyone give it a shot. Give it to your friends. And if you like it, you need to you need to pay more money. At that point, I think there's like gog.com or all sorts of different sites you can check out. So yeah, like I said, they got Wolfenstein 3D here. If we click it, we see here it's a shareware one. Uh, we just want to do essentially the demo. So we'll click down. Oh, no, but uh, before we go to this, actually, here, here's where I wanted to do another twist. Let's take that original homepage here and let's go back to our app, close this, and we'll go into our browser and let's see if we can visit that site. Some sites we can visit. looks like this is one we can visit internally. So let's try to do that again. Uh, if we go here in our, our fake browser here that looks like Chrome, but it's not. It's just an iframe with some, some prettiness. We'll get Wolfenstein. Once again, we download it. This occurs outside of the fakeness. It didn't happen over here. Now we can drag it in and drop it onto our desktop. And now we have the actual game here. So if we right-click it and we go Open With, we can open it in that JS DOS app. And from there, there we go. Now we have it. Uh, because it's not a JS DOS file and it was a .zip file, it doesn't know what exe file to run automatically. So we can just look and see dir and we can see what files are in here. We can also do dir space asterisk dot exe to just see the exes. And we can see there's only two here, one called catalog and one called wolf 3D. I think we can probably guess it's wolf 3D. Uh, with command prompts, you can type wo, let's say, and just type tab. And it's going to auto-complete any files it can find with wo. And there we go. So we got Wolfenstein. Let's, let's full screen this one. And take a look. This one's kind of cool just to take a peek at. And again, this is the shareware version. So there's going to be a lot of limitations and things you can't do. Let's say if I want to put it in a tougher mode here. Okay, let me. I think in, do in the Doom one, you can't do that. Um, but I think the reason I didn't play this as much as I wanted is I, I was kind of into a few other games that are also on this list here. But that's the basics of it here. So yeah, we're playing this on my website here. You can see this is just a little window on my website. We could go look at one of my blog posts at the same time and see when I turn 30 and look at my balloons and stuff. And oh yeah, about now back to this game. And also you can hover over here and you can see a little preview of it at the bottom. And that's a live preview. I still have mouse control here so I can actually control it from that little screen. It's a little harder. But oh, I'm getting shot from somebody here. Oh no. Oh, 
I don't think I even hit him. Oh, I just died. All right. Okay, then what's the next one here? Let's move on. So the next one's Duke Nukem 3D, and that one I actually do have. So we could launch it here from the JS DOS file, or we also have it in my start menu under games. So we can here find it here, Duke Nukem 3D. We'll open that one up. And this one I have a lot of fond memories of as a kid. This was a fun one, actually. And it's a little slower to boot. It always says that it's been ran eight times. That's not correct. Again, it's another shareware one, and we're not going to dig too deep into it. But it has it has some rather fun settings as well that you can play. And this one's just on my website all the time, so you don't even have to go to that DOS website to check it out. We can also just resize the windows here. It doesn't have to be maximized. Move my mouse out of the way here. and Oh, and you jump down here in this one. And I'll just try to get killed in every one of these games. Just do really poorly. If I completely miss him. Oh, I still I got him. Oh, well, the game I wouldn't call the game idiot-proof, but I think I had it at an easier setting this time. As you can see here, unregistered shareware. So this is another one of those shareware ones. And I'm about to get killed here. It looks like, where's my health? Yeah, there we go. Oh, he left me at one. Oh, no, he didn't. All right, there's another one down. So my number three is another one that I have on my website, and that is Commander Keen. Uh, in this case, it's Commander Keen 4, which I think is probably one of the better ones. But I, it's hard to say which is the best. Every one of them has levels that I've had fun with. It's hard for me to even remember which is which at this point, but... I remember as a kid, I just would always find the Commander Keens. Often they were shareware, you know, I'm, I'm a shareware kid. And that I would just play, like, a little bit of it. And, and hey, if that's all that they would give me with shareware, it's like, I'll just try another little preview game. And it gave me a chance to try a lot of different games. But, oh, this game, you die really quick, honestly, faster than Doom. Okay, that's number three on my list. What was number two? So number two is another one that we have to go to our pretend browser here. And that's another one called Blakestone. And the reason Wolfenstein and Blakestone were not on my website is because I feel like they're also first-person shooters in the same vein as Doom, I guess. And for that reason, I, I, I feel like I already had Doom on here in my desktop. That's the one I had on my last one. And, you know, you just can't go wrong with that one. So let's download Blakestone here. We'll drag that on as well. Minimize our fake browser. And you see here we got it in here. We'll go open with. Again, it's a zip, so we're going to have to find it manually. Uh, we're going to do the same trick, asterisk exe, to find it here. I'm going to guess it's... Oh, I don't even know. What what could it be here? The BS help? That doesn't sound right. Hmm. Maybe it's a bat file in this case. Let's try the bat files. Oh, okay, there's one called B-Stone bat. That's almost... Like, it's not an exe, but maybe it had some other special path. There we go. There's another one running on us. And the cool thing about these being zips is I also have in my, my website the ability to open zip files. So as we're playing Blakestone, we can actually open the zip file of it and look at its contents and open these files and other things I might have. So we could look at that file here. Let's look at that bat file in my DOS or my uh, Monaco code editor, and we can see here what was going on. So it's running some, it was this BSAOG file, I guess. That's what I didn't notice last time. But yeah, this is another fun one. Again, it's quite like, I wouldn't say it's as, as gory as Wolfenstein. Maybe it's more like a James Bond one. I'm not even sure. Did I go to the harder one or the easier one there? I think I went up, but it, he looked more stressed. So I think that might have been the harder one. Anyways, they play pretty fast. They play like how I remember them as a kid. Okay, okay, come on. Oh, just as I say that, this one feels laggy as heck. Maybe this one was always laggy. I don't even remember. This might have been normal on my computer back in the day. Oh, geez, this one's pretty violent, too. Okay, that one's another one. Uh, so then, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's a big surprise, but the number one one on my list, if you didn't realize it already, is Doom, of course. Um, so let's load Doom here. And at the same time, again, we, we can go open file location to see where it is. It's with the JS-DOS files. And then we can see that the JS-DOS ones are also just zip files, and we can also open those in our file explorer. And we can see different various uh, things, whatever happens to be inside here. Some kind of ASCII art for Doom. I don't know if it's like an instruction manual or some information anyways. Again, this is another shareware version. Uh, and of course with Doom, I mean, the people on my channel have probably seen me play this a hundred times as I was working on the DOS editor and just having fun. I always like playing around with Doom. So uh, there's all the hidden doors and stuff. Although I actually don't remember where one is right now at the moment, but that's just another fun one. I always end up just shooting some random guy in all these games. That's like one little thing I've noticed. 
Uh, okay, so there's my top five, and uh, I also had a couple little honorable mentions I wanted to sneak in there. One of them being the Jazz Jack Rabbit, which I have put in here as well. That's my another one of my DOS games that I had a lot of fun with growing up. And then another one being uh, the original Duke Nukem, if we type it in here in the search. Uh, the original Duke Nukem, I actually forgot for a long time that this is the game that I thought it was. Uh, oh, again, we could have went to it here in my fake browser. Let's do it again. Let's do it the fake real way here. Paste it in up there. There we download it here, and then we drag it on there. Uh, but yeah, this this game, I, I forgot that this was Duke Nukem for the longest time. So I, I I had this game in my memory of this nostalgia game, and I just couldn't remember that it was Duke Nukem because this looks nothing like Duke Nukem 3D, of course. Close this now and get this out a little bit bigger. But this is actually the game that I remembered probably the most. And I'm thinking I might even put it on my website at some point. And it looks pretty basic, but I just I think it was the animations and all the little items you collect and I just spent so much time trying to find the green card, the blue card, the red card, whatever whatever it might have been. Um but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for my list. And then another thing I wanted to note is that this also my website also saves. So if you were to refresh and come back, you see that the files are all still here. The other games, of course, are still there. And if you go into the Dustin folder here, there's actually a folder that got created. Every time that one of those is closed, it actually makes a snapshot of their file system that gets reloaded every time you reopen it. So you actually have the ability to save game states as well, which is another cool feature. Um, so yeah, with all those little bombshells, and uh, hopefully you were surprised by it and had some fun and a little bit of nostalgia. So thanks for checking out my video. Please throw me a like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to keep motivating me and following me and seeing these other videos. I'm going to start going through and making more videos about the different apps and functionality of my website. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for checking this one out. Goodbye.